Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for August the 31st. Today, in 1555, Robert Samuel was executed. Robert Samuel was one of the famous Ipswich martyrs, and John Fox's Book of Martyrs ensures that he has a place in history. He was a minister of a parish church in Suffolk, and during the reign of Edward VI, priests were allowed to marry, so he got married. But then under Mary, when the country returned to Catholicism, priests had to return back to celibacy, and so his wife went to live in Ipswich. Still, he was marked as a reformer and he attracted attention for that. He was removed from his post, but he kept visiting Protestant members of his flock and performing services for them. Spies were sent after him and trapped him while he was visiting his wife in Ipswich. His wife's house was surrounded and he was dragged out and taken to jail in the middle of the night. There were other Protestants in jail with him and Robert wrote letters to his flock urging them to keep their spirits up as he was. He was transferred to Norwich to the prison in Norwich Castle for inquisition by the bishop Dr. Hopkins who was famous for having reclaimed several heretics. He was tortured with great cruelty. He was, quote, chained bolt upright to a great post in such sort that standing only on tiptoe, he was fain to stay up the whole poise or weight of his body thereby. And at the same time, he was fed only two or three mouthfuls of bread daily and three spoonfuls of water. Perhaps because of this starvation, after two or three days of it, he actually, quote, fell into a sleep as it were one half in slumber, at which time one clad all in white seemed to stand before him, who ministered comfort to him by these words, Samuel, Samuel, be of good cheer and take a good heart unto thee, for after this day shalt thou never be either hungry or thirsty, which apparently came to pass. He didn't feel hunger or thirst again until he was led away to be burnt at the stake. So Robert Samuel died by burning at the stake as a judicial execution in public on in Ipswich on the 31st of August, 1555. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.